How you guys doing today? This is Andy Omar and today I'm gonna make a separate video which is going to be about a review reaction to a review on Jollibee. Um, there was a, a review that I've seen through Facebook right and it got my attention because it was making rounds on the internet and there was this young man who drove around 40 minutes to go to Jollibee to try it out himself and apparently uh we're gonna react to his videos i guess he's from california and i'll put the original video down below which i got it through facebook anyway so <clears throat> let's get started he's in los angeles california for the first time let me just go and get this out of the way the commute mid traffic mid gas prices Mid. I'm illegally parked. And on top of that, my whole meal costs $40. <laughs> In LA, yeah, the Jollibee does cost around that much. So let, let's see what he got. Well, let's see what he ordered because this is pretty insane. I love y'all, so we're going to get right into it. I ordered a bunch of popular items from Jollibee's. Ugh. Let's see what it's hitting on. We got a spicy chicken sandwich. Um, I actually did try that spicy chicken sandwich. And, uh, yeah, let, let's see what he says, and then I'll say my opinion about it. <laughs> oh, boy. The chicken sucks on three. One, two, three. The chicken at Jollibee's sucks. This is supposed <laughs> to be a spicy chicken sandwich. And everything is spicy on this oh. sandwich but the chicken. The sauce, obviously, is spicy. Oh, Got jalapenos the at the that? bottom. Wait, the that's a jalapeno? They get actual jalapenos in the Jollibee? I mean, in the U.S.? Damn, that's nice actually, but yeah, the same sauce probably. Um, because in in Jollibee in the U.S. we get the infused ones. Let's see. So he does say he doesn't like it. He says it sucks. Well, the chicken itself, I'm telling you right now, it sucks so bad. <laughs> oh yeah, ain't no way y'all down here eating this shit. Nope, we have the old low. A three out of ten. Oh man, that is insane, man. I don't know. Well, for me, in my opinion, <laughs> with the Jollibee thing, I actually like the chicken sandwich. Oh, hot chicken sandwich. Y'all have got to be complaining with me here. So we got a chicken sandwich with oh. cheese, bacon, and pineapple on it. What the I'm fuck? some type of mustard sauce. Wait, that shit has a pineapple on it? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? All right. Yeah, and a chicken sandwich. I would. I never seen that before. It's awesome. Weird. Well, for one, I ain't never seen lettuce on top of the chicken and the bacon. The lettuce, in my own opinion, should be at the bottom. Too. Yeah, it's probably some super wet lettuce. Let's see. Two, I would have loved if the bacon was a little bit more crispy. This shit right here. Oh, <laughs> I ain't wait. cooked it off. Is that the wait? Is that the same bacon they get in Jollibee Philippines? <laughs> oh my God. They got the cheap, um, that cheap ass bacon, bro. Damn. I, I you know, I would have thought that in the U.S., like for forty dollars, they would increase the goddamn price. I mean, they would increase the the quality of the bacon, right? This is like some U.S. Army bacon and shit. Like this is the bacon you would get in the U U.S. Army, like the canner type bacon, the canner quality bacon, which is basically the lowest quality bacon there is. Oh my god, yeah, that is crazy. That's cr <laughs> ain't cooked at all and three once again and i'm gonna say it one more time i might say it again throughout this review but the chicken is complete ass bro. okay so i guess a two out of ten yeah uh <laughs> damn that's crazy a big two out of ten shit uh, that's kind of insane bro they have limited time chicken tenders okay let's look okay, I guess. <laughs> Let me, can I, uh, I can't. Oh my god, oh god. Bro, why is everything from Jolly Bees taste like it came out of Walmart? <laughs> it came out of Walmart. Look at this chicken tenders. They kind of do look like the chicken. This chicken. ain't nothing but a, a fried, a fried tender. It is crispy. I'll give that to you. But if you're looking for a flavored. Uh, Those do look like the chicken joy. A flavored chicken tender, this simply is not it. They gave me some sauce though. <laughs> Um, one thing I, I gotta ask is, like, this is for every restaurant. Like, why does it need sauce? You know, like, this is the one thing I never got in the Philippines. Like, 
if you have some good food, why does it need some type of vinegar or some type of sauce? Wouldn't they just make it with the vinegar or with the type of sauce already infused in it? Right? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to bash it or anything, but I'm just trying to ask, like, what's the point of doing that? You know? I know there, there might be some people that don't like it and they, they separate it, but yeah. Like, it's weird, right? Like, if the, if the food is already good... Why do you need to put in banana ketchup in it? Why do you need to put some uh, sour thing? Like, for example, why do you need to put in uh, vinegar? Why do you need to put, you know, this and that? Gravy. The chicken's supposed to be good and you put gravy on it? You know, like in the U.S., you don't really go out there and put gravy all the time on the chicken. You know, like, if it's that good. Well, I don't know. For me. Uh, let's continue. This pepper is Five. It's everybody's favorite trying to be chicken. Oh, okay. I'm trying to they actually oh, so they actually do get biscuits in Jollibee. I mean in the US. It does look the same like chicken joy in the Philippines. Okay. I don't know. Catastrophe on three. One. Jesus. Two. <laughs> three. This is a motherfucking catastrophe. It's oh. official. Jollibee's chicken sucks. Alright. Oh, fucking shit, bro. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. Personally, I do like it. Um, but if it's for $40 price tag, I wouldn't like it at all. I know what y'all gonna say. You should've got the spicy chicken. They didn't have spicy chicken. Matter of fact, they told me none of the locations that spicy chicken. This chicken is... So, so it's like... So they bring the... It's very authentic Filipino. When... They actually bring the customer service to the U.S. and be like, this is not available, sir. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. And, and I'm sorry to my Filipino brothers out there that are listening, bro. Some of the worst fast food chicken I've ever had in existence. A lot of y'all say KFC is bad. Get the f*** out of here. KFC on this right here. Damn. Okay, that's crazy. Like a one out of... <laughs> A one out of ten, I don't know. Personally, for me, I love the best thing in the in the whole Jollibee thing is the chicken. But I, I get his point of view. If he's driving forty minutes for it, and he's paying forty dollars for this meal, it's expensive, bro. That's like thousand five hundred pesos already, right? That's crazy. How they would do that. <laughs> but anyway I know y'all gonna say Try with gravy chum Try with gravy Gravy You should not put gravy on chicken For the taste good But whatever Eesh. Hey He did say something right there Uh The chicken <laughs> it, it, You shouldn't put gravy On something that should already taste good So he did say something That I said earlier About like Why would you put sauce or something On something that is supposedly Already supposed to taste The way it's supposed to taste Right? The gravy mm, tastes exactly like KFC gravy. You're gonna try this biscuit though. Mmm. Tastes just like frozen Pillsbury biscuits at Walmart. Pillsbury biscuits at Walmart? Damn. Hey. I mean, I could say the same thing with churches. Uh churches biscuits. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame him for it. Uh I wouldn't blame uh Jollibee for it. I mean I do like the Pillsbury thing myself, but yeah, forty bucks. Why don't they have those in the in the Philippines, bro? They should. I would be buying those. I do like Pillsbury, <laughs> like for real. Right, fries. Oh no. Fries. I knew it. I knew he was gonna say the fries because the fries are probably one of the worst things that I would hate about Jollibee. And yeah, he's right. I I couldn't believe that the fries are even a one. For me, it would have been a, like a zero. Be spaghetti. So we finally got something that's halfway decent. So we got the al dente oh, pasta, he likes the it. sauce on top, and the cheese. Let me tell you something about this sauce. It's really sweet. So if you like a sweet, a sweet sauce, you'll definitely like this. Looks like it also has some some weenies in this mug too. I will say the spaghetti out of everything I've tried today is the better thing. We got oh, the pineapple really? drink. So he did actually like the Jollibee spaghetti. That's like the thorn on a lot of foreigners' side. And wow, not bad at all. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hell no. If you like your drinks to be heavy on the pineapple side, you ain't gonna like this. Right? 
pineapple thing, like with powder and everything, sugar, and it's super sour, and I get it. Uh, I probably get it. It would probably be like the same like the Philippines. Sometimes it would be watered down. Another times it would be so sour. Jesus fucking Christ, it's insane. All right. I drove 40 minutes to Jollibee's to be Jeez. disappointed. If you're ever in LA. <laughs> 40 minutes hey. video with the Jollibee thing and all that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, for $40, driving 40 minutes. It, it is pretty insane and it's pretty much a steal, I would have to say. Like, no way in hell I would fucking drive, go to my, go to the Jollibee and, you know, for drive for 40 minutes in the U.S. and seek this out. The one thing I do like about this guy is that he gave his actual opinion on it and he compared it to other fast food restaurants. Unlike the other blogger who actually made it like, oh, this is shit. You know, like he made it even worse. Personally, if you're raised in the U.S., you're born in the U.S. And you're uh, adjusted to a certain quality of life, certain quality of food and all that stuff. I don't think Jollibee is going to be the one for you. And this is what a lot of foreigners would say. The chicken is great. Okay, that's one. Two, the reason why there's so many foreigners who say they love Jollibee, I, those people do it for clout. They do it for views. They do it to get their subscriptions up. They do it to get popular. They do it to get subscribers. This is the one thing you have to understand between... Uh, American bloggers and other type like bloggers, at least this guy has some sort of integrity. You know, there's bloggers out there with integrity who are going to tell you the real thing. And then there's other bloggers out there who are going to lie and try to pander to Filipino audience in order to freaking get, you know, their point across and get their channels popular. Wow, I never expected this at Jollibee. Or wow, Jollibee is great. Right? For me. I would eat Jollibee in the Philippines because of the price. The chicken sandwich, for me, I would give it an 8 out of 10 in the Philippines. I said that, right? In the U.S., I would give it no, a 2. Because in the, the chicken sandwiches in McDonald's, oh man. You guys never been to BK in McDonald's? Uh, Burger King out there in, in the U.S., uh, there's McDonald's, oh, they got some good chicken sandwiches, uh, they got Popeyes, they got all these other things, man, all these chicken sandwich joints, and guess what, they are way, way better than this, I'm sorry to say to my Filipino, I know there's gonna be Filipino audience looking that they never traveled, you know, but yeah, I'm trying to make it relatable, other one, the chicken, the chicken Honestly, I give it a 10 out of 10 in the Philippines because of the price. Because of the price, okay? Pero, but as a U.S., I give it uh, another two. Dalawa na lang. Kasi medyo pangit. Walang seasoning. Just salt, MSG na lang, flour, you know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, it's it's nothing. Walang seasoning. Really. It's just MSG lang. MSG, uh, flour, and salt. You know? And yeah, it's it has no seasoning. But this is the one thing I want to ask my Filipino audience. Like, why, if Jollibee is so good... Why is there so many people right now in Popeyes when they go to BGC, they go to, uh, you know, in Cubao, there's so many Popeyes in Manila, right? So many Popeyes. Why do they go to eat the chicken there? Why are these Burger Kings really filled up? Because the burgers are better. The chicken, they could have gotten to Jollibee if it was really good, right? Because Jollibee, like the chicken joy is one uh 110 like 109 but it's like over 200 pesos in the you know in the Popeyes for a two piece like it's more expensive it's way more expensive 
in Popeyes. So why would they go to pay something for more expensive in Popeyes? Why would so many Filipinos fill up on the KFC, right? Even though it's more expensive. The reason is because Jollibee is cheap. It, it entangles in your own personal, in your own childhood. And it's one nostalgia value and it's very cheap. That's the reason why Jollibee is popular in the Philippines. Or else KFC would have been out of business if it's that good. Popeyes wouldn't even be here if it's that good. But the Popeyes are all filled up to the brim. But this is because of the economy and the wages. And of course, those who can pay for it will pay for it. They will not. Once they go Popeyes, they will never go back. So this is a challenge to my Filipino brothers and sisters. Try a one-piece meal and Popeyes and then go back to Jollibee. And then you will tell me. You can even make a reaction video out of my reaction video. Anyways, this is Andy Omar signing out. Peace.